Hello everybody, welcome back to the Zeko Football Channel. Today we are ranking every single Premier League home kit from the 2023-24 season. We have our tier list and categories right here. We have not good, not bad, it's just in the middle. We have pretty bad and then we have the worst of the lot this year. On the opposite side we have very good and the best of the lot this year. Before we begin I'd just like to say that do not take any of this too seriously. None of this is any slander towards the club that you support. It's just my opinion. Everyone has their opinion. And I'd like to know yours down below. So please do let me know. If you are new to the channel, please make sure that you subscribe, you like the video, and you turn on notifications. Right. Now with all of that said and done, let's get into the video. Let's begin on kit number one. And kit number one, at no particular order, is Everton. And I really don't like this kit. I'm not going to lie. While the blue and the white is fine, I do like the uniformity of the way everything goes. I don't really like the state.com, but can't really do too much about that. Overall, I just don't think they've done enough to try and make it different. And while I do understand the patterning and the detailing on the collar and on the sleeves is meant to be representational of some kind of architecture from football stadiums, I believe, I just don't really see it, and unfortunately it's a bit plain and a bit bland for me, so it's going to go in the bad category. Bournemouth have come and stayed in the Premier League. They have produced this. I'm not a fan, really, but I'm also not in the position that I don't like it. So, at the same time, it's just going to be in the middle. It's not particularly great for me, it's not particularly bad. And on the flip side of that, I really like this Brentford kit. It's kind of the better version of the Bournemouth kit, if that makes sense. I don't like the Hollywood bets at all. If we could remove betting sponsors from kits, I would love that. I believe that's coming into play next year. But for me, it's just just better version of the Bournemouth kit. It's just nice. The white, the black. I like the black trim on the bottom of the shirt as well. The black goes well with the red. It's all very good. Very nice. Burnley have come up to the Premier League and they have produced this. I don't like the W88. I think the claret and the blue is quite nice, but if anything, it's a little bit too simple. I do know that there is a texture on the claret part of the shirt, but for me, that's not enough, and so it's going to be a little bit dull for me. It's going to go in the bad category. Aston Villa, when I first saw this, had one of the best-looking kits that I'd seen for quite a while. And when I tell you that the story behind the pattern that is on the kit is actually an audio file that has been printed from one of the chants at Villa Park, it just makes it that little bit more special. Unfortunately, they've decided to slap on a big BK8 in the middle of it and change the color of the 8 to orange, which makes it look hideous. But I can't put it in hideous because I actually do quite like the kit. So for now, it's either going to be slap bang in the middle or pretty nice. I think I've got to put it slap bang in the middle. Unfortunately, it just ruins the kit. It's possibly one of the nicest kits I've seen in quite a while, and it's just ruined. Ruined. Brighton have been making some pretty good kits of late. Unfortunately, this one doesn't really catch my fancy. While I do like the thinner stripes, I would prefer it to be all over the shirt, and I don't really like the Nike template that they've got, where there's a standard bold colour over the shoulders, and then you have the actual pattern of the kit on the front. The American Express is a different colour, which is fine, it's not too obnoxious, and the actual sponsor isn't too bad. I've now convinced myself that it's actually quite a nice kit, rather than being in the middling category. So, not bad Brighton, not bad. Let's talk about a kit that's actually very, very nice, and that is the Arsenal kit. They just know how to make kits. Adidas, for some reason, have dedicated all of their major designers to Arsenal, because Arsenal seem to be one of the only clubs that have decent kits. This Arsenal kit is fantastic. I like the red. I like the dark red. The white goes well with the gold. It's just a, a pretty nice kit, if we're honest. As is this Chelsea kit. Now, the fact that Chelsea don't have a main sponsor is really lending itself to me on this one. I like the changing colour foil badge that they've got going on. I like the colour of the kit, I like the simplicity of the kit, and it's something that Chelsea haven't done for a while is really strip back their kit and make it something that's just a little bit simpler to look at. But they've done it in this one, and I really like it. I really like the fact that they don't have a shirt sponsor. Speaking of clubs that don't have a shirt sponsor, I'm going to be controversial on this one because I think this Nottingham Forest kit is really bad. I, I liked their previous edition, I liked it, but what have they done here? They've changed to Adidas and Adidas have given them just 
a white collar with some white stripes. And to be charging people 50 to 60 pounds for that when they've already purchased the previous one is just not good enough for me. You need to put something a little bit extra in it. They went for the simplistic look previously. I understand they can't have the sponsor on the front, but it's just nowhere near for me. It's not a good kit. It's not a good kit. It reminds me of the Tottenham kit from about three or four years ago, which, which was just a white shirt. It just didn't work for me. Didn't work. Another kit that doesn't really work for me is this West Ham kit. Now, you might not be able to see it here, but there are some bubble designs on the claret part of the West Ham kit. However, they're not really pronounced. They don't stand out for me, and they don't really look like they should be there. It's almost like a child has taken some felt tips or Tipex and decided to paint along there. If you don't know what Tipex is, it's just a white marker paint solution that covers over things. It just doesn't quite look like it's meant to be there. It's like the West Ham fan's been painting. And for me, it just doesn't quite hit the mark, so it's going to be in the bad category. Luton Town have made their way into the Premier League in spectacular fashion. And I've got to say, I like this bright orange kit. It's quite striking. It really hits you, and I think that's something that Luton want to be remembered for. It's brilliant. I really like it. It's something that I think is going to be quite controversial. I like the white stripe down the left-hand side of the shirt. I like the badge. I like the orange. I like the blue. It's got something of a retro classic vibe to me, and for that reason, I really like it. Speaking of retro and classic, this Liverpool kit is absolutely sensational. I'm going to be quite contrasting in the way that I say things because I know I don't like the Nottingham Forest kit, but I really like this Liverpool kit. I like the white detailing. I like how retro and classic it feels. My main issue with the Nottingham Forest one, in contrast to the Liverpool one, is the Nottingham Forest did this design last year. And to ask fans to pay for another version of this kit with just some white detailing is a little bit much for me. But the Liverpool kit is absolutely sensational. Genuinely. Just brilliant. And if we're asking kit makers to make different kits, I think Crystal Palace have pulled another one out of the hat. This is going to be a controversial one. I'd love to know your guys' thoughts in the comment section below because this, for me, is really good. I really like the detailing. I like the red and blue contrast. And it's something that's a bit different. And I don't think kit makers really push the boat out too much anymore. But I really like this one. Crystal Palace is, is a good one for me. Sheffield United have returned back into the Premier League with a new kit. And I quite like it, but I can't really say that it's too impressive. It's it's there, it's okay. Now, if they were to come up with their gold trim version of their previous kit, I would have put that at the very, very top of this list. However, they haven't. They decided to opt for this, and while it's not particularly bad, I don't think it's particularly special either. It's just there. I'm sure Sheffield United fans will be excited and can't wait for the season. I'm sure this kit will sell very, very well. But for me... It's just not quite there. Another kit that we have to talk about is the Manchester City kit. I'm torn over this. I can't decide whether I think it's particularly good and I can't decide whether I think it's particularly bad. The white or the blue lines don't really make sense to me. I'm actually going to put it in the middle because I don't like the fact that the collar doesn't go all the way around. That's a little bit of a, a thing for me. I just don't like it. You need some kind of continuity in it. For me, something just isn't quite right, which is a surprise. It is a surprising thing for me with Puma and Manchester City. They normally do pull out some pretty good kits. Fulham have had another blinder for me. I like the red and white detailing. If anything, it is a little bit too simple. But for me, it's just airing on the side of enough. I like the kit. It's simple. It's clean, concise, and yeah, not bad at all. Newcastle United have their new shirt sponsor and I've got to say that I do like the fact that it's it goes well with the rest of the kit. Black, white, I like the Newcastle logo, I like the collar. Generally it's a pretty good kit. We have three left. Wolverhampton Wanderers have introduced another kit. It is not the yellow thing that they produced last year and i actually quite like this kit it's got another retro vibe to it the black and the white detailing on the collar and on the sleeves is quite nice the black goes quite well with the gold it's a darker orange this picture doesn't really show it but it is a darker orange and there are some lines going up and down the kit as well i like it it's good tottenham hotspur have been criticized quite a lot of the time for their premier league kits 
I think this one is quite a nice kit. It's completely different to the rest of the ones that we've seen here, and it's got some nice detailing about it. I'm not sure if it can show through in the picture, but actually it's got some nice navy slash blue detailing all over the kit. And I actually think it's one of the better ones that they've produced over the last five years. Last but not least, we have Manchester United who have produced some kind of a, a Lancashire rose geometric kind of shape. For me, the Team Viewer logo is far too big and just generally it's an okay kit, but what's preventing it from being right at the very top next to some of the best ones that this year has to offer is that huge Team Viewer logo. Why they can't seem to make it a little bit smaller and make it a little bit more central, I don't know, but it's really throwing me off. Apart from that, it's a pretty nice kit. That is our kit ranking. Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, you like the video, and turn on notifications. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.